Now, in order to continue, we're just going to slide this piece of paper up. And continue our computations to be able to work out the solution. Um, now what we need to do is we need to substitute these formula into each of these terms. We start with the uh, ice cube side, or the ice side. With Q1, that's the amount of heat required to raise the ice uh, from the negative 15 degrees Celsius to zero, which is uh, calculated by using the formula MC delta T. And I'm going to use subscript one with brackets instead of subscripting every variable. Um, for Q2, once the ice is at zero degrees C, it starts to uh, condense. Sorry, it starts to melt. And there is a latent heat of melting there, or fusion. Um, next, we have the uh, ice that is now water changing temperature as it becomes heated up in liquid form. On the steam side, we have MC delta T of the steam a dropping in temperature from the 125 degrees Celsius to 100. And next, we have the latent heat associated with condensation or vaporization. And finally, we have the steam that is now water dropping in temperature uh, to our final temperature. And all of these terms added together must equal zero. If we substitute in values uh, for the ice, we have 3.5 kilograms of ice um, times the heat capacity of ice times the change in temperature. Now, the final temperature is zero degrees C, and we're going to subtract the negative 15 degrees C. And of course, we have the latent heat, mass times the latent heat of melting, or fusion. And finally, the MC delta T term for the water that used to be ice. And because it's now uh, in liquid form, we're using the heat capacity of water. And the change in temperature is, of course, the final temperature minus the initial temperature, which in this case is zero degrees C. Remember, this is the MC delta T term for the water going from zero degrees C to its final temperature. And again, on the steam side, we have 0 0.75 kilograms, because 750 kilograms is 0 0.75, times the heat capacity of steam, times the final temperature, which is 100, minus the initial temperature is 125. Remember, this MC delta T term is just for the steam dropping in temperature from a superheated uh, form down to um, 100 degrees boiling point. Uh, next, we have the uh, heat associated with condensation. Now, because it's actually losing heat uh, as it condenses, um, the latent heat term must be negative, And that's why we put a negative sign there. And finally, we have the MC delta T term for the steam that is now water. And again, reaches a final temperature, which is unknown, T subscript F minus the initial temperature, in this case, of 100. And all of this must equal zero. Just move up the paper again. If you simplify the equation, ultimately what you should end up with is the following numbers. And I'm just going to put some of these numbers in quickly so you can see uh, if you do make a mistake where exactly you made it. Now that these are the three terms for the water. For the steam side, we have the, these following numbers. For really large numbers, I like to put in commas. It just helps me keep track of the digits. 
And of course, once you simplify, you get the following. And the final temperature, 43.3. Uh, if you round to two significant figures, in this case, it's 43 degrees Celsius, and that is your final solution.